What is up, guys? December 31st, Tuesday, New Year's Eve. This is our final workout for 2013. Hit it with Ryan. Wreck it, Ryan. It's our uh, hypertrophy, hypertrophy, volume pull day. We started off with bent over rows. Uh, this day, we came in focused um, just on volume and uh, time under tension. So we pretty much just focused on getting a nice pump, just feeling the muscles tear and uh, kept the weights really light and kept the rest time short, shorter than usual. All right, we decided to throw in a new movement. I saw Alberto Nunez doing this on uh, August's channel, Flex for All 2, and he calls it the seal row. Um, it's the first time ever doing this movement, so it took a while to set up the bench to where it felt good, <clears throat> and we were just lost on what kind of weight to use, so we just kept it light. Um, we both used the I believe the 35 pound dumbbells and uh, felt really good after the first set just kind of uh, trial and error how to to pull and uh, focus on using the the lats to engage the movement um, Alberto if you see this um, let me know critique my form tell me if there's anything I need to change but I definitely felt it um, in my lats, my back, and it felt really good. It felt comfortable, it felt natural. Um, but for sure I'm gonna increase the weight because it did feel light. Um, and I was able to pull my elbows pretty far back and I noticed that he wasn't bringing it as far back, which I think it's just not necessary. So Alberto, let me know. Got this from you, thank you. Um, yeah, I think we did 12 to 15 reps on here. Just uh, new movement, just trying to get the form down. And we moved on to lat pull downs with the neutral grip bar. Hey guys, I'm really focused on back. I've never really focused on doing back correctly. Um, and that's driving your elbows pulling with your elbows to help engage majority of your back instead of uh, recruiting your secondary muscles like your your forearms and your biceps and I think that's what I've been doing in the years of training and uh, which led to underdevelopment in my back and uh, overdevelopment in my arms my biceps and my forearms I don't regret it it's it's called it's trial and error you know you can't cry over spilled milk you just have to move on and fix those mistakes and get stronger and better as you can see I'm really focusing on bringing the bar back up letting it go focusing on the negative and just keeping the lats engaged bringing it down and getting a nice intense squeeze We decided to do this uh, lower back machine to target the lower back. We did 12 to 15 reps, four sets. Most of our movements we did four, uh, four to five sets. This machine, guys, maximize the movement at the end where it locks out. Just make sure you're contracting the lower back squeezing and engaging that Christmas tree and then come back nice and slow controlled and just focus on using just your lower back to move the weight if you guys haven't noticed the socks those are some 
important socks, guys. It has meaning to it. Um, one of my friends, he uh, he runs the organization Rock the Socks, and each sock that he sells, um, portions of it goes to causes for kids. And those socks that I'm wearing are actually uh, for uh, orphanages in Mexico that need um, help. So check out his site. It's uh, rockthesocks.org. And uh, he, he helps other causes like... Um, actually, Sonia's little brother runs it. It's his organization. It's a uh, cancer, cancer for Kids. He's actually a cancer survivor. He had it when he was younger. So that's his nonprofit organization that he runs. Check out the site. You'll you'll see more. Rockthesocks.org. All right, we ended up doing two movements for biceps. We did the standing easy curl bar. Again, focused on time under tension. Nice slow negatives. Just really fighting the negative and the gravity. And then after this, we actually did um, one arm preacher dumbbell curls. Uh, my GoPro died, so I didn't get that. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy New Year. Be safe.